Glenn Ford was a Canadian-American actor who was active in the film industry from the 1930s to the 1980s. He appeared in over 100 films and television shows, and was known for his versatility and range as an actor. Ford's notable films include Gilda, 1946, The Blackboard Jungle, 1955, and Superman, 1978. He was also a veteran of the U.S. military, having served in World War II. Throughout his career, Ford was nominated for several awards, including an Academy Award for his role in The Big Heat, 1953. He passed away in 2006, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most enduring and talented actors. Glenn Ford was a Canadian-born actor who had a successful career both on Broadway and in Hollywood. Born Gwilin Samuel Newton Ford in Portneuf, Quebec City, Canada on May 1, 1916, he had Welsh roots. His father was a nephew of Sir John Macdonald, Canada's first Prime Minister, and he had a family ancestor who was Martin Van Buren, the eighth President of the United States. In 1924, Ford's family moved to California and settled in Santa Monica where he attended Santa Monica High School. His interest in the theater was sparked during this time and he eventually decided to make acting his career. After graduation, he worked with a local theater group and toured with professional West Coast stage companies. During this period, he took various jobs to make ends meet, including working as a bar cleaner and a roofer. However, as he became better known, the parts he played in the plays grew bigger. In 1935, at the age of 19, he made his Broadway debut in Lillian Hellman's The Children's Hour and established himself as a well-known stage actor. Ford went on to enjoy a long Hollywood career, making over 80 films between 1939 and 1991. He became famous for portraying normal men in abnormal situations and was known for his talent for appearing not to be acting. His versatility allowed him to showcase his abilities across a variety of genres, including drama, films noir, comedy, and westerns. Later in his career, he became a regular performer on television. Gwilin, while gaining experience on stage, had aspirations to make it in the movies. In 1937, he had a screen test with 20th Century Fox, but it was unsuccessful. However, he managed to land a part in a short Paramount musical Short Night in Manhattan, which was billed under his real name. His first contract was with Columbia Pictures in 1939, and he made his feature film debut in the same year with Heaven with a Barbed Wire Fence. He changed his name to Glenn Ford, named after his father's Canadian hometown of Glenford. In his early years in Hollywood, Ford appeared in many low-budget B-movies, such as Men Without Souls, Babies for Sale, So Ends Our Night, Texas, Go West, Young Lady, and others. Despite the films being largely undistinguished, Ford usually managed to receive positive critical attention. His movie career was progressing well until it was interrupted by his service in World War II. Ford became a naturalized American citizen in 1939 and, when America entered the war in 1942, he volunteered for duty with the Marine Corps Reserve. He started as a motion picture technician and was later promoted to sergeant, where he was assigned to the Public Relations Office of the Marine Headquarters Division. In 1992, he was awarded the French Legion of Honor Medal for his service in France during the war, where he aided those fleeing from the Nazis. Unfortunately, he was eventually hospitalized with duodenal ulcers, and he had to leave the Marines in 1944. After his discharge from the military, Glenn Ford returned to Hollywood to continue his acting career. His big break came in 1946 with two outstanding films. He starred opposite the stunning Rita Hayworth in Gilda, and while she received the majority of the praise, Ford's strong performance did not go unnoticed. The following year, he appeared in A Stolen Life with Betty Davis and his popularity skyrocketed, securing his place as a top-tier leading man. Over the next few years, Ford appeared in a string of films, some of which were not of the highest quality. For example, he starred in The Man from Colorado and The Mating of Millie in 1948, and The Doctor and the Girl in 1949. The start of the 1950s also saw a lack of improvement with disappointing films such as Young Man with Ideas and Affair in Trinidad in 1952, which once again starred him alongside Rita Hayworth. Despite this, many of Ford's films were successful at the box office and he continued to establish himself as a popular and respected actor.
Glenn Ford's career reached new heights with his outstanding performances in the film Noir's The Big Heat in 1953 and The Blackboard Jungle in 1955. In the latter, he co-starred with Sidney Poitier, playing a dedicated teacher in a tough neighborhood. Ford's acting skills were further showcased in his comedic role opposite Marlon Brando in The Tea House of the August Moon in 1956. Over the next 15 years, Ford continued to deliver top-notch performances in a variety of films. He was a skilled horseman and marksman, and his western roles, such as The Fastest Gun Alive in 1956, 310 to Yuma in 1957, and Cowboy in 1958, were highly praised by audiences and critics alike. Despite the quality of some of his earlier work, the 1960s saw Ford's filmography become more hit or miss. Nevertheless, he still gave memorable performances in films such as the 1960 remake of Cimarron, The Courtship of Eddie's Father in 1963, and the westerns The Rounders in 1965 and Heaven with a Gun in 1969. In the 1970s, Ford shifted his acting career towards television, making regular appearances in several popular series such as Cades County, The Family Holvick, and Once an Eagle. Despite his increasing TV presence, he still appeared on the big screen, delivering a memorable cameo as Superman's adoptive father in Superman. The movie in 1978 and a small role in Day of the Assassin in 1979. However, his prime days in the film industry were considered to be behind him. On the personal front, Ford was well known for his ladies' man image and was rumored to have romanced several actresses. He had a total of four marriages, all of which ended in divorce. His first wife was the talented dancer and actress, Eleanor Powell, whom he married in 1943. The couple met during Ford's military service at a war bond event where Powell was already a famous star, having starred in top MGM musicals such as Born to Dance and Rosalie. The couple had one child, Peter, and their marriage ended in divorce in 1959. Ford went on to marry singer and TV actress, Catherine Hayes, from 1966 to 1969, and then TV actress, Cynthia Hayward, from 1977 to 1984. His last marriage to Jean Baus lasted only one year. Glenn Ford was known for his romantic connections with many famous actresses, including Betty Davis, Rita Hayworth, Debbie Reynolds, and Hope Lang. His name was also linked with other famous actresses such as Joan Crawford, Bridget Bardot, Linda Christian, Dinah Shore, and Lorraine Day. In conclusion, Glenn Ford was a legendary actor who left an indelible mark on Hollywood and the film industry. He was a versatile performer, who brought his talent to life in a variety of roles, from leading men to supporting characters. From his breakout performances in Gilda and A Stolen Life to his memorable roles in classic films like The Big Heat, The Blackboard Jungle, and Superman. The movie, Ford's acting prowess won him the hearts of audiences and critical acclaim. Aside from his film career, Ford was a man of many personal interests and passions. He was an excellent horseman and a skilled gunman, which he showcased in his westerns. He was a ladies' man and had romantically linked with many actresses throughout his life. He lived a life full of adventure and excitement and was an inspiration to many aspiring actors. Sadly, Ford passed away in 2006 at the age of 90, but his legacy lives on through the films he starred in and the memories he created. He will always be remembered as one of Hollywood's greatest actors and a true icon of the film industry.